Hello, world, and welcome to the Rand Cafe. You know, internet, I am a single gay man looking to meet other single gay men or bisexual men in my own locale to go on a date with and maybe get to know a little bit better and see where things go, if you know what I mean. I think you do. <laughs> but seriously, with all this hustle and bustle of the big bad real world, it can be sometimes hard to find the spare time in your life to experience the nightlife or the gay scene if you want to use that phrase. Because of this, I have a tendency to avail of the services supplied by online dating apps. And when I say online dating, I actually mean online dating. No hookup apps. So Grindr, Hornet, forget about them. I'm talking more on the lines of OkCupid, Tinder, or even Badoo. Now, I do realize that I can be somewhat picky when scrolling through the catalogs of men on these dating apps for possible dates for me to go out with. But at the same time, you don't necessarily have to be a poet or Shakespeare in order to warm the shackles of my heart. But at the same time, I do expect some profile face pics to be uploaded to the profile. I do expect a sharing of some similar interests. And I do expect a certain level of pride in one's appearance. And most importantly, I do expect a level, a respectful level of coherency that goes into the text content of a person's profile. And then, internet, I came across this dreamboat. Well, I'm surprised anyone can decipher this hot mess of composition at all. Okay, so obviously I've concealed this person's name for their own privacy, but let's read some of this masterpiece of a profile. Okay, right off the bat, this person seems to have a certain understanding of punctuation to a certain point. No capitalization though. Okay, he says, average lad into keeping fit and having a laugh We the lads. Drinking and messing boots. Not so into this stuff, but just seeing what it's lick out der. So, Give me a chat. Oh, and you keep on reading, it actually gets worse. It gets worse as you keep on progressing through this wall of text of nonsensical incoherency. Okay, I'm gonna read on just, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I'm not into once off stuff or nothing like that. So, if that's all ya want, keep moving. Otherwise, send a message. Okay, I guess it's kind of okay for me to understand and other people from Dublin or even anywhere from Ireland to understand what this guy is saying. But for anyone else, it is pretty hard to decipher what exactly he is saying by just reading it because it's pretty bad. And, you know, even at that, there is no excuse for this level of incoherency. And also, I love the fact that this guy says he can speak fluent Irish. Okay, if you say so. If he can speak fluent Irish and he does that to the English language, I don't even want to know what catastrophes he has done to our dear old Irish language. The horrors of the thoughts of what he might do to that language is, is just, um, it's unthinkable. It's unthinkable to me. Unthinkable, but a level with you here. I don't actually think this guy is stupid. I don't think he's an idiot. I don't think he's a moron. I think that he's not a very honest person. I think that he is actually intelligent. He's just not honest about his intelligence and he's pretending to be this ditzy idiot that doesn't use proper English. This guy, like looking at the other sort of information that's on the profile, he's not hes not an idiot. He's basically glorifying stupidity. Is there really that much to ask that intelligent people just embrace their goddamn intellect and stop acting like idiots when they are, in fact, not idiots? I know Donald Trump is president, 
but that does not mean that the reasonably intelligent people have to act like absolute buffoons. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I do feel really strong about this. Seriously, uh, but I would really like to know what you people think. Write me a comment down below, video response link down below too. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, freedom, peace, and love to every single one of you. Bye! Hey, Internet. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Click on the video on the left for the previous Nerdy Keith video, or click on the video on the right for the previous Irish Humanist video.